What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Pop Life Toys and the little turd here is Addison. We uh got some fun stuff to do tonight. We uh by we I mean me, we went shopping and uh I bought a bunch of Pokemon stuff that we could find. And we're gonna play a little unboxing, see if we can find what's going on. Um it's Pokemon time. So we're gonna give our peoples a few minutes to get up in here. We're gonna set up our comments. Hopefully I'm not a rookie. Yep, I was. Got it muted. Pop out chat. Uh -huh. Hey, Campbells. How are you? Are you excited about the fact that Sean will be in-house tomorrow and you'll get to see your alien? I'm curious what it graded for. I'm guessing it'll grade over a nine, but I don't know what I'm talking about. So we got 110. I'm looking. Two tens because I watched Unlisted Leaf open a bunch of these. Like, kid, why'd you turn that off? And it seemed like there was a full art or a uh, ultra rare in each box. Then we got uh, another ten. All these are some variation of Sword and Shield for the most part. We got a lunch box, and then we got a pack that Lucas will love the big card out of the Blastoid GX. So, and it's got, oh, six packs of cards in it and three specials. So, I figured we'd have a little bit of fun there. Yeah, I have a pretty cool collection. I will admit it. I do love my collection. Show them how many extra Pokemon cards go. you have. Why would I do that? So they know. The, they know when you open 100 booster packs how many common cards you have left over. Um. If anybody needs anything from Sword and Shield, we got a bunch of duplicates. We did not pull the Rainbow Charizard. We did pull the Shiny. Marissa is with you again tonight. Okay. So we're going to open this one first. Put that down. There's two packs. We can each open one. We're going to open. I didn't put up a second camera angle. We're just doing this impromptu because I opened the shiny Charizard off camera and then I wished I'd been live when I opened it or at least recording because our reaction was kind of crazy. The goal was to sell that card. Uh, I am in Alabama, but the goal was to sell that card to buy more Champions Path to find our Rainbow Charizard. And after seven Elite Trainer boxes, uh, two of each of the coin packs and two of the doubles, we still did not find it. I told you to wait. So. Those are coins. I know it's a coin. It's a plastic coin. We got a coin and two Sword and Shield packs. I watched on Listed Leaf open these. There was a video from April. And then it comes with the one of the cards that makes up part of the puzzle kind of cool let me see it's a unicorn the galarian poignata so i haven't played i said don't I'm not gonna open this i haven't played pokemon since i had a game boy color they played sun and moon on their 3ds's but it brings me back to childhood opening pokemon cards old as do you want the Sword and Shields or the Evolutions? Um, which one's order? Uh, I think Evolutions. Evolutions. Okay. Hold that. He chose Evolutions. I took Sword and Shield. Um, I'm not showing my online codes this time. I think it's th four to the back on these. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. So we have another energy. That is a, a lightning energy. We got big charm. We got sea king. Thwacky. It's hard trying to read backwards. Full pigs. Yay. Where? What's up, Carlos? We got Muna. That's an interesting looking. I said, what are you opening? Uh, that is an interesting looking uh, card there. We got Rosalia. 
We got a Choodle. We got a Blip Bug. And we got a Reverse Hollow Sinistee with Tea Time. That's our Reverse Hollow. I do like that Reverse Hollow. Yeah, I know you do. We'll talk in a little while, bro. And we got a common or a rare non hollow thievial. All right. So nothing crazy in that pack. I said we're keeping the codes. Four to the back. Four to the back. Whew. I literally organize. You got to hold it up higher so they can see. Uh, you. You don't open off the back. You just showed your. I did it. You did. You opened from here, didn't you? No. If you flip, I want you to still be surprised. Yeah, you open from the back. Okay. You want me to show them for you? All right. He's got a trainer. He's got a haunter. Another trainer. Rock's grit. Those look old. A pointer. A Nidoran. Ooh, a pretty Volpix. I'm definitely keeping that one. He got an energy. A magic card. What energy? What energy? A reverse hollow cool of arcane. I like that. And then he got a hollow Grados of Walls for Magikarp. All right. So that is our first hollow of the night. You went ahead and opened that tin. We got to clean for trash, bro. All right. There's one. I will one day have a setup for better opening cards. I want evolutions again. We're just not there. I don't want evolutions this time. Fine. Oh, yeah. We got a Grokey to build to the puzzle. I said I wouldn't buy any more Pokemon cards. Y'all see how strong my will is. Hey, we got a trash can. For a reason. How am I supposed to reach that? You hand it to me. I'll throw it away. All right. So from the top. Let me show you. Oh, I got a Pikachu. Yay. It's a basic. I no, I said I'm getting the Pikachus. That's my dude. I got a Pikachu. Sorry. You go one, two, three, four from the top, put them to the bottom. I did. Okay. So your first card. All right. I got a far fetched. I actually like his artwork. That's really cool. What? Huh? Yeah. On these, it's not. I probably should have gone three cards, not four. We got a trainer. Another trainer. A Poliwhirl. Man, I remember him. That's a trip. We got Pikachu. I already showed him. He's going in sleep just because I want him to. We got Growlithe. We got Machomp. We got Nidoran. We got Pointa. And we got a... Oh, it's one of these things. The break nine tails. It looks cool, but I know they hold like no value whatsoever. I want one. What's up, Hero Review? So you open from the bottom. Show it from the bottom. Yeah, you flip this thing up. That's good. They can see it from back there. Probably easier than they can see it with me holding it up in the screen and out of focus. There but you because you hold it kind of closer. There you go. Gotta watch what you do. Just sit down in the pen top. Where did I sit? Do you need me to show them? Sure. Hold on. 
We're trying. Why don't you stand up and show them? Yeah, don't drop the iPad in the floor. No, no, no. That's not where you sit an iPad, son. A little closer. There you go. You want to tell them what it is? Metal Saucer Trainer. From Warrant. Cool. What is going on? We're just opening some Pokemon stuff I found today. My GameStop was cleaned out, but I found a few things. Brasilia. I got more down here I haven't shown y'all. Chutel. You see that one? Oh, yeah, he's cool. Blip bug. Yes. Rhyhorn. Okay, well, we're live on YouTube right now. Right now. Clavopus. Okay. And Ponyta Reverse Hollow. So no hollow? No. Oh, man. That's cool. Your reverse hollows really are never worth much, but they look pretty. Good luck with the pool. Yeah, we're trying. All right, throw them in there. All one way. We kept the cool ones out. I kept my Pikachu out just because I like my Pikachu. I like that one. All right. Uh, let's do Lunchbox next. Okay. Now let's do this next. This one. We're doing lunchbox next. And I get to do this one. I'm going to like actually go ahead and one. open that and go ahead and pull the packs out of it. Don't make a mess on my desk. I'd like to get the tins out of the way. Yeah, hopefully we'll pull some cool stuff tonight. I, the best pull I pulled. What is up, Batman? Ooh, look. We got three special cards. We got, let's see, what else in this thing? Batman is here. How you been, brother? We're going to have an awesome time tomorrow night on the battle. If everything works out like it should, Sean will actually be here live from this studio with us. Um, and Gabs Funko should be joining us as she will be starting the battle officially next week. Or Gabs and Pops. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's go ahead and get everything out. We have a little book to put cards in. Ooh. Uh -huh. What's that? I don't know. It's oh, that's a pen for the... I want it. You don't get to claim stuff. We've talked about this. Pretty much gave you everything out of the last time's opening. So why don't That's we try to? Comments. Why don't no? You got a lot of good. Stuff. Why don't we try to not just claim stuff? We got a code. We got a, a cool GX card. GX. I love the texturing on the GXs though. We got four packs though. That's what matters. Let me pick my Uh, you can have that one. And that. And that, that one. one. You can have those two. You got Cosmic Moon and Celestial Storm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Batman said hey to you. He said hello, Mini Pop hey. Life. After we get done. Oh, it's a. Uh, that's cool. After we get done, you have to go clean Hi, up Jimu out of Nana's floor. Um, I think so. We're good. They want to play online. And I think we're going to give them to them. I gave away a bunch of codes. But if I decide to let them go, I'll probably post a picture on my Instagram all of them at once. And whoever gets them, gets them. I'm not sure yet. But if we do decide to not keep them, I will show them the next time we open cards. All right, go ahead. What you got? Purple energy. That's psychic energy. 
But if you need some codes, I'll show one or two. Get ready for it. Oh. There's one. Shriner TV reporter. Life herb trainer. You want us to play guess the energy? Gory bis. You watch Lionheart too? Ooh. I much prefer unlisted leaf Claire energy. Pearl. Low tad. Why don't you flip it over so you don't mess up? No, like the thing and like do that. See what it is and Fan. then show it to them. Fan Pete. Wingle. Yeah, Lionheart's awesome. Uh, Unlisted Leaf is cool. Trico. Trick. Treco. Those are my two favorites. <gasps> it's Reverse Hollow. Reverse Hollow Lomber. Let me see that. Lombre. It's a cool looking card. Common Mag Cargo. Well, it's a rare, but it's a non hollow rare. All right, let's see what I got here. This is an Evolutions track. We're going to be nice. Yeah. Bam. Whoop. Uh, I think we got three to the back on this one, but I could be wrong. We'll see. That's a Charmeleon. That's a good sign, hopefully. Let's see what happens. Ooh. That's pretty. Double colorless energy. I've never seen one of those. I, I don't think I've ever opened cards from this line, though. You haven't. That's I a have. Tangela. Ooh, it just fell on its own. That is a shiny Volpix. I think we've already pulled one of those. We got a fire energy. We got a Voltorb. That's cool. We've got another Charmander. Is that two of the same? Oh, we got Charmeleon and Charmander. We got two more. We got a Reverse Hollow, Tangela. And what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's go from the bottom. Oh, we got a rare non-hollow you know electrode. Um one of the markings on the bottom, but it sits behind the the reverse hollow. But we got Charmander and Charmeleon and couldn't go. I'll take my two. X and Y is three to the front, and Sun and Moon and Swords is four to the front. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. And then when it gets even older, it gets a whole lot different. It's a cool electric. You want three? Hold on, son. You You're getting ahead of me. Here. Where did you get those from? Right there. I still haven't opened my second pack. Stop. Pack. You haven't opened your second pack either. Yeah. You're pack. jumping ahead here, bro. We got a mess on the desk. I got to clean up. Stop for a second. Calm down. I know you're excited. Don't open a pack with your teeth, please. We're saving all the stuff I really, really like. Um, And I will probably do like I did the other day. I sorted every single card, even the commons, into order. Down at the bottom, X and Y is three to the front, and Sun and Moon, and Sword and Shield are four to the front. Champion's Path is four to the front, too. So, we opened enough of those packs. We did right around... Uh, Here up there she go. Yep. Four to the back. Four to the back. Wait, what are you opening? Yeah, that's son of me. Yeah, four to the back. Did you just show from the back? You go this way. Flip it over. There you go. You got an unlisted leaf energy. Energy. That's unlisted leaf. 
Boy, he's, freaking, the... he's freaking hilarious, man. Don't I keep handing to me. Make you a stack right there, bro. You got this. Flow eat. Common. Trainer Roxy. Cosmog. Common. Let me see that. It's a cool card. Slugma. Common. I've seen that in Pokemon game. Wellmer Common. Uh, Polynor, actually, I don't have common. a lot of boxes right now, Batman. I got the... Uh, Togamaru. Common. <gasps> That's mine. Uh, no, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I told you I was getting the Pikachus. I will give you a reverse hollow Char Charizard if we get it, but I'm keeping the Pikachu. Pikachu. Pikachu's me, bro. You can have a reverse hollow. What is You've that one? You've got two of them. What same. is that one? That's a hollow, bro. It's a hollow <laughs> like a rock. Like a rock. <laughs> it's basically almost the same card that's in uh, Champion's Path. All right, let's see what we got. I'll share the Pokemons with you, but I really want the Pikachus. That was my duplicate. I started with Pokemon Gold, which was Pikachu, and he was my dude. He was my jam. I want this. You can have that. There's no sleeves. There's sleeves inside of it. Bam! For anybody who needs it, we're giving it to you. Woo! Yeah, we're Sun and Moon. Okay. We're going to the back. All right, we're going Fire Energy. Oh, that's Fairy, fairy energy. energy. I got close. Pink is close to red. We got a Fairy Charm. I got to get past the light so y'all can see. We got a Skip Loom. We got a Pincer. We got a fan feet. What the heck is that? It's another one of those like knitted creatures. We got a wormple. Stop clicking. We got a marini. We got a yamska. Now we got plenty of cards. We got stunfish fisk. Look at that. That's funny. It's a pancake. We got a reverse hollow fortress. No, that's, just a that's a reverse hollow fortress. That's a cool card. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Not a rainbow Charizard. It's common. It is a rare non-hollow Azumarill. Azumarill, but it's still a rare. That's okay. We got plenty more to get. Stop. Stop. I think my two. You can have three. There's five in here? Yeah. What'd you pick? Okay, I'm good with that. Well, you got Crimson Invasion. Okay, that's you fine. Get I get to go first. I got three, which means I got to take the outsides and you get the middle. Don't do that. That's how you tear up cards and make them non-gem mint tens, bro. Non gem mint. Non gem mint tins. What time is it? You got a little while. All right. You can go back on the video later and watch it. We got four to the back. This is just a Sword and Shields base pack. All right, we're going unlisted leaf. Oh man, that's straight. Strength, yeah. All right, what do we got? Let's see. We got a Sundawu. We got Hop. I actually have the Full Arts Hollow of Hop from Champion's Path. We got Dotler. Oops. Come on down. We got Joltik. That's a cool one. We got Silicobra. We had that. Yes, I do. have like 
three of those. We got Blip here. Bug. We got Goldeen, such a cute little goldfish. All right, we got a Yamper. What a weird looking dog. Yamper. Yeah. We got a reverse hollow crow gunk. And see a little bit of the hollow. And from the top, we have oh, 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 oh. Common. It's still a rare. It's a rare non hollow Why nine tails. It's one of these symbols down here that make it a rare. I'm still learning. Man, I see that orange. I get excited. Y'all know how it goes. Why do you see orange and get excited? Because that could be a Charmander, a Charizard, a Charmeleon. You never know. Yeah, it's backwards. You'll get used to that. Never. Do I open from the top? Show from the uh, top. What pack did you just open? Four from the top to the back. And then you pick your energy. Call your energy. Um, you got to guess your energy. Leaf. I mean, green. Leaf energy. Show it. Aw. <laughs> it's okay. You, you never, they never get it right on the guessing games. So, from the top. Batman said water. <laughs> He's Run playing thing. too. Grumpy Common. Let me see. Sincino Common. Zwillis Common. You don't have to say Common. They know, buddy. First eight cards in the pack Shonen. are Commons. Shelmet. That's actually a cool one. I showed Nina the snake one the other don't day. Don't do that. Swablu. Swablu is always a cool card. Swinub. Batman, I didn't know you were into Pokemon. Jigglypuff. Oh, we got the Jigglypuff. Houndor. That's a Houndor. <gasps> Can I have that one? We'll see. What? I know. Show it. That is. This one's mine. You already know. An Alarian, Alolan Geodude, Reverse Hollow Energy Electric Pokemon Pikachu, freaking awesomeness. Already know it. And then he pulled a Buzzwool GX. I'm taking the GX. We will see. A Buzzwool GX. Yeah, he said nice Geodude. The comments are a little slow when you're Batman. He is in Alabama after all. It's a hidden hobby. Uh, I think we just unhid it. I should show you some of the extra pulls from the 100 booster packs we opened of Champion's Path. 100 plus. All right, do I go Sword and Shield again? 500,000. Or do I go Sun and Moon? You want me to go Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows? Because I know most of those. Books. Okay, Burning Shadows I have never opened before is Burning Shadows... Uh, I know. I didn't do it like he does it. Uh, yeah, but I didn't do the one that next morning where we opened the rest and I pulled the uh, shiny Charizard. The lag is 100. So we can go three to the back and then... No, we did not do a video. Okay, when cool. We pulled yeah, it does energy. Card. He said fire energy. It is not. It is Pikachu energy. Electrical. Electric. I know that's not what it's called. All right. So we have a Whirlipede. Beep, 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 beep. We have a Guzma. We have a Ribone. Oh, we have another Charmander. Out of the stack. My dinosaur growls at me. We have a Sneasel. That's Addison when his allergies get acting up. What? We've got an Alolan Grimer. 
Hey, Christina. We got a Ralts. We got an Alolan Volpix. Now that's cool. All right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got a reverse hollow of Nolbat and a rare non hollow electric. That's okay. I like that one. That one's cool. All right. Open your evolutions, bro. Yeah, I forgot to show you. I had two more packs down here on the floor. There's just two, right? Yeah. So I got more. We might save these for tomorrow night. Sean should be in the house tomorrow night with all 17 pops he graded for me. And I think Queen Amidala actually got an eight because you can't grade, you can only grade so much down for a side. Yeah, it's backwards of what you think it is and you got to get in front of the light. There you go. Let me angle this up a little bit. There you go. Uh, this will probably help. There we go. Fighting energy, he guessed. Okay, so you do, you're on evolutions. Um, do three to the back. Let me check something real quick. Nope. Okay. So show your cards. He guessed From fighting energy. No, like that. No energy. You got a trainer. The energy's gonna be in the middle. It's one of the older sets. Ooh, Charmillion. Nice. Another Charmillion. Added trainer, to the Charizard Spirit Link. That's cool. Tangela. Tangela. Ratata. Rata. No. Weedle. All right, now we're just completely bleeding out. There we go. All right. Weedles wobble, but they don't fall down. Voltorb. A Voltorb. Pollywog. Pollywog. Hollow Growlithe. Growlithe. A hollow, a reverse hollow of Growlithe. And a non-hollow electrode rare, which we pulled already. I don't like that. That's not enough light in the front. Okay, there we go. I got a sword and shield base pack to open. I would love to open a, a true first gen base pack, but I ain't got the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to put down. What do you mean? So the Series 1 base pack, like the OGs from like way back in the day, um, a booster box, which is 38 pack, 36, 38 packs, 90 grand. You're joking. Nope. Unopened. All right. Batman says fighting energy again. No, no, no. He said no energy weird. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm calling psychic. Oh, man. Didn't get it. What's up, Jerry? All right. We have an Eldegoss. I have the full art Eldegoss from Champion's Path. I we have, have an air balloon. I have those in my binder. We have a pal pad. We have another Volpix that looks exactly the same. We have a Nicket. We have a ball toy. We have a Chin Chow. We have a Krabby. We have another Reverse Hollow Pikachu. That's your second. I want one. And we have a Hollow Copper Jaw. We're opening the white one now. Copper Jaw. White one. Copper Jaw? I don't know. Hollow Pikachu. Freaking awesome. White one. Why the white one? Not stop, 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 stop. It you is seven there. minutes to your bedtime. You got to go inside. Okay. 
Say bye to everybody. Bye. Don't just up and leave. All right, guys. Let me get readjusted. We're going to actually move the camera to make this a little bit easier. Let's move the monitor. Let's put the camera right here. Sorry if you get motion sickness. There we go. All right. Y'all got me now. Um, let's get back into opening some cards. Let the kid play with us for a little while. He loves to do it. I love to have him, especially when he's behaving. Let's turn that back off. Let's go right here. I need another one of these right here, and it would make not half my face dark. But it's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. So how is everybody doing? If y'all want to come hang out with me now that kid's gone, um, I'm going to drop a link not to share the screen to invite. Maybe Jerry can come in and talk up our box battle for a minute. We officially have a six person that will join the roster next week. Um, I will tell you that one of our people accidentally opened the box already. Uh, somebody else in his household opened it, but uh, picture in picture. I know I can set up my phone real quick and do it like I did it the other night. Give me a second, bro. Let me get the overcrowded multi-purpose workstation rearranged real quick. Bring the phone in from the horrible tripod, but I found the camera bracket. It's right here. Yes. Okay. Where's the tripod? I don't know, but we can do this. I got you. I got this. Clean up as you go. <laughs> Wait till you see what sits behind me, bro. He just left everything out here that he wanted and just ran inside when I said bedtime's in seven minutes. Because he knows if mama calls again, he's going to get in trouble. And then I'm going to get in trouble. And then nobody's happy. All right, let's take the phone. Let's set it up in our ghetto rigged mount. Well, let's pop it out of the case. I don't know if you noticed, I used to have Darth Vader. I now have Mando on my pop socket on the back. Hey, uh, one of y'all should jump in here and hang out with us, guys. Jerry didn't get to go find any Pokemon cards. So, of course, everybody wants to send me raffles. I like playing in them. I'm a sucker for them. Happy wife, happy life. Yes. <laughs> 12 years has taught me that. Um, oh, I just sold a Beetlejuice. I absolutely hate eBay's new payment system. I think it sucks. I think eBay should put their head in the toilet, but that's just me. That is sliding. Let's push that in tighter. Yeah. Well, um, I, I've got a spider leg tripod that would do this so much better than what I'm trying to do. But when you're unprepared for the second camera angle as your guest request, you do what you got to do. In a broadcast studio, turn the volume down. Um, should be in Safari. No, I'm not. Even though I pulled it in Safari. All right. Let me jump in here. No. There we go. Does this work? This is going to be a little janky, guys, but we're going to do it. Let me flip to the rear camera. Well, y'all can look at my ugly desk instead of my ugly face from up close. All right. To do. Hopefully y'all don't pick up the feed. Let's mute. Oh, it still says card cam. Volume down. 
mic's muted, volume's down, as low as I can get it. Um, let's change it to this layout, this one here. Can I get it to stay? We're going to have to be able to work that. All right. We have a layout for opening cards. Um, I wish I knew where a spider leg tripod is. That'd be a whole lot better. But I can hear it in the speaker on there. That's going to drive me crazy. But we got a view for opening cards. Doesn't it look glorious? Move the tripod out of the way. Yeah. I mean, bro. I can be semi-pro every once in a while. Um, okay, so now that the kid's gone, I really want to open the Sword and Shield oh yeah, figurine collection. The problem is, is I don't have it high enough to actually show y'all everything. Give me two seconds. Because if not, I got another idea. All right. The tripod is under a box somewhere. Yeah. Most definitely. I've seen both of them, but I just grabbed my regular tripod. So here's what we're going to do. I told you this is kind of jank. And if I kick it, y'all are going to see it get kicked. Um, let me take this view off for a second. Not that one. Uh, we want to go that one okay give me just a second so let me twist this on see batman i can be semi unprofessionally professional when i need to as long as i don't break my phone in the process we're okay looky there All right, let's get this up to about there. Oh my geez, we actually have a camera angle now. All right, let's go back to live. Two person layout, yeah. So we can go down some, we can go up some. That's as high as we can go, so let's Yes, we're getting this on the fly guys Um, yeah, I know rings on fire underwater exactly, bro. Oh Oh, oh look at that and I've got this nice little pole staring me in the face so we're going to go this way and angle down. Voila, we have a filming angle with a tripod in between my legs. Because that's how we need it to be to make Batman happy. But when Batman's happy, everybody's happy. All right. Sorry, cameras. I turned it off for a while. Um, I'm doing the best I can. It's Batman's fault. Blame Batman. Uh, where'd the pack go? Okay, so now... We have the Sword and Shield figurine collection with that Pokemon Pikachu card up front. Look at that. Batman, is that better? Don't blame Batman. I will blame Batman if I want to. Batman lives an hour away and Batman has never come down here and forced me to not blame Batman. Sorry, Campbells. Ooh, I like the graffiti in the background. All right, let's get into this. Um, I literally can't slide my chair any further forward. So, yeah, bro. Oh, I can really mess with Campbell's mind. <laughs> That's the contrast at colors. Pikachu. 
Look at that. Batman has made me better. Okay, Campbells, you should not get nauseous anymore. We're going to move to this side for tonight. We have four packs. An online code. We have four packs. Let's try to go a little bit more without breaking it. All right. <laughs> Look at our cute little figurine that'll cloud up the desk. Just like everything else that's on the desk. Uh-oh, Funko Finders posted a photo. I think Vaulted Vinyl is what he posted a photo of. Okay, so we have Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield. We have Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising, Rebel Clash, and Cosmic Eclipse. Let's just go ahead and get Cosmic Eclipse out of the way. We have not even opened a pack yet. Cosmic Eclipse is Sun and Moon, so it is... Let's see. He told me. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah. X and Y. Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield are four to the front. All right. Shut up, Batman. Bam. All right. We go four, but we're going to go three so we can play like Lionheart does and guess the energy. All right, you're calling fire energy. I'm going to call Pikachu energy. Oh, <laughs> lightning. I know, but it'll always be Pikachu. All right, we have a Pangro, a Heracross, Lily's Pokey Doll. That doesn't sound the least bit inappropriate. I would put a Pokemon background on, but I didn't grab one in time. Let's go to Monster Sync. Oh, not that one. Let's go here and go to Monster. That seems a little more appropriate. We have Duskull. We have Timfall, and it's in that weird, like, stitch pattern. Creepy. That's like if Mr. Hanky the Christmas Poo got dressed up in blue. We have a Flabe. Flababy? We have an Alolan Sandshrew. We have a Pointa. Wants me to say something much worse. Oh, that is cool. That is a full art coughing. And... A creepy ass Mimikyu as our rare. What the hell? That thing is awesome. I don't care if that thing's worth like a buck. It's going in a sleeve. That thing is awesome. If anybody needs any uh, Pokemon cards, just uh, let me know. I've got a ton from Champion's Path. If you need energies, I have packs on packs on packs of energies. All right. Where do we go next, Batman? You tell me. We got Rebel Clash, Sun and Moon, Guardian Rising, or Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash it is. All right. Thank you. I need to just like... He said Sun and Moon... Oh, you want Guardians Rising. Okay. I wonder if I could stand cards up in the keyboard. All right, it's that all green card. That might mean something. If y'all pull an ultra rare or a full art, y'all need to let me know. Come back and tell me in the comments. Four cards, fighting energy. We do three cards. You just said Campbell says fire. I'm saying enlisted leaf. How do I keep getting lightning energy? 
All right, here we go. We got him a joke. <laughs> we got a Gliscor. We got a Komala. We got a Phantom. Wait, is that a Phantom? Huh. We got a cast form. We have a nose pass. We have a dilly bird. We have a rock rough. That's actually kind of cute. Ooh, a reverse hollow chandelier. That's actually really cool. And then we've got a non hollow rare requisa. Let's put that one right here. Let's see if we can make it stand. Looky there. All right, next pack. I would ask you if you wanted Rebel Clash or Rebel Clash, but it doesn't really matter. We're going Rebel Clash. Call your energies, peoples. I'm the real deal now. Nah, I gotta have like this Pokemon like sticker paper all over my desk to be the real deal. Now that was a sleight of hand like the real deals do. I don't have a 3D printed card stand. All right, three to the back. I could do like what's his name does and do four and then two more and then slide it in the middle. I don't get why he does that, but I love how he deposits energy. So three to the back. All right, Jerry's even saying water. I'm going unlisted leaf. I don't know what the hell that one is. That's like gray matter. Ooh, that's a cool looking electrode. We got a tool scraper. Jerry uses one of these every day. We got a cursed shuffle. <laughs> Bunnelby. That looks like the, the chocolate Easter bunnies you eat uh, on Easter, guys. We got a phantom. A dreepy. A Galarian Farfetched. A Honed Edge. You think that was power energy? That is a Doe Blade Reverse Hollow that looks freaking awesome. Look at the artwork on that. And behind it, we have. Oh, we got a Hollow Dragapult. I don't know what it's super specialness is but it's got infiltrator ability and phantom force how about that it's in the kid inside and we pull a hollow two awesome awesome cards yeah if anybody needs any cards you'll hit me up afterwards i have way too many pokemon cards let me just let me just show y'all one thing real quick so yeah so this is what just the common cards from Champions Path looks like after I made a binder for me and a binder for each of my kids. That's cool. Um, what is all this? This is all my hollows, full arts, and energies, I think. And then we've got a whole nother one. So we got energy packs, reverse hollows. We've got plenty of these Charizard Vs, the promo card that came in the Champions Path box. It's like a $30 card. We've got one. Oh, look at that Gardevoir VMAX. Look at that full art trainer hop. Look at that Gardevoir V. Look, there's another Gardevoir V. There's an Eldegoss V. Another Eldegoss V. A double promo card. We got three 
of the Charizard V promo cards. What else do we have in here? Here's the last three. We have Wall Ward. And there is another promo card. Look how pretty that card is to be a promo card. So, and that's not including all the stuff that's in my binder. So, that uh, Gardevoir VMAX should be an extra. That's what happens when you open 100 booster packs. But guys, if you haven't opened one, look at how good the dice look. You've got all that glitter in the main die. And you've got your uh, energy die, your damage dice. Looks really, really clean. Tons of your sleeves. And then for some reason, even though nobody needs them, they give you a whole nother pack of energy even though you get an energy per booster, which means I officially have like 300 energy cards. All right. We're just going to wait on Batman. Not really. We're going to keep going. All right. Y'all guess your energies, guys. Oh, I'm going uh, Lucas Energy, Water Energy, right there, because I saw that card. Dragonfire is not an energy cherry. <laughs> oh, Psychic, all right. You know, they took away Psychic in uh, Champion's Path. All right, I'm going Unlisted Leaf. Oh, it's water. I did say I was going water first. So I think that still counts. I'm going to say it counts. All right. We got water energy and we start with a beware. That's hilarious. Skyla. Luxio. Galarian Darmaka. Hatina. I think they just tried to screw us up with some of these names. Scyther. That is a sick card. Look at the artwork on him. Nose pass. He's got my nose. Wingle. Ooh, that reverse hollow tranquil. Where's Batman? I'm waiting on a Batman. All right, we're not waiting on Batman anymore because we got a non hollow rare Sigful. Are any of these cards worth good money still? So, yeah, some of them are. Uh, you can go to TGC Player and look up the values of the cards. We're going to go for this box next. I found that at GameStop. It was like $19.99, which is about right. Five bucks a booster pack. Batman's going to come back. We're on a whole new box. He's going to be like, what the hell happened? My kids love these big cards. Uh, you missed a cool reverse hollow. I got the energy right. Um, and then I messed it up. And a non hollow rare. You want to jump in here and just be like my narrator, Batman? I could use a narrator. You can just have your little video turned off. We got a Copper Jaw V promo card. Nice. Kids like those. We got the really big Copper Jaw V promo card. Oh, if we put this down, it looks like we have a Pokemon background. Now we're legit.
I'll tell you what Pokemon cards make, and that's a lot of mess. All right, the goods, we have a Rebel Clash. We have a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, a Rebel Clash, and we have a Cosmic Eclipse. This is one of the worst Pokemon sets to play. Oh, have no fear, Batman jumped in. What is up, bro? What's up, man? Oh, not much. I didn't know you were a closet Pokemon dude. Yeah, I have about five or six binders full of Pokemon cards. Oh, dude, you're here. So this is my binder. I put them in order, and the holes are what I'm missing. But, like, there's our all creamy V and I'll our Dragon Ball Max. You got them in by numbers? Yes. I'll show you the cool stuff, though. There's a lot of duplicates. But when we get to this page, this is where it really gets cool. So we pulled the Gardevoir V. Of course, we got a couple of that one. We got the Graplot V. We got Hop. We got the promo card there. We got the Dreadnought VMAX, the Gardevoir VMAX, and the Gold Suspicious Food Tin. Nice. That was the other secret rare. We pulled the Shiny Charizard, but we yeah, ended probably up. had like four of them, four or five of them. No, I'm talking about the $600 Shiny oh, Charizard. Oh, okay. The secret rare. We sold it on eBay to pay for the 500 and something dollars in cards we bought. <laughs> um, Sold it for $570 in less than two hours. Dang. Yeah. But by the time eBay took their cut and uh, Charity gets their cut, it's like $450, but still. Still, for one card? I mean, yeah. that I donated $57 bucks to the Autism Society Alabama. I cannot complain. Right, no. Here's your promo code. Remember, this is Cosmic Eclipse. Don't get your hopes up. All right, we go four to the back. We'll go three in energy. All right, what do you call him? Lightning energy. Batman energy doesn't count. We're going water. Oh! oh. Pets on back. Pets on back. Pets on back. Pets on back. <laughs> <laughs> I watched his first video. I stumbled upon it, and he was in a suit. And I'm like, what is going on? And then Bro. I realized that's his Squirtle shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, uh, he was he used to be an attorney. No, what's he doing for a living now? He, I think that's this is what he does is YouTube. That's what he that's his job is Pokemon cards and and YouTube. That's crazy. I mean, the dude just hit one million subscribers. Yeah, I know. I'm one of them. Mawile, Pontia makes me want to say Pony, so Ponita, Ponita, Ponita. Crab crawler. Like a pony. Is that crab brawler? Crab brawler. Yes. Carvana. Na 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 na. -na, -na. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chin chow. <laughs> These Azrael, this like knitted crap is weird. It is really weird. I saw that other one and I was I kind of like scratched my head and I'm like, what is that? So we got a reverse hollow thraw. That's interesting. And a non-hollow rare Walrene. Okay. No, We're like, done I'm with pretty, Cosmic. Like, he, I can't remember if it's on his channel or not, but uh, there was a news drop, like wherever he's at. I can't remember. I think it's, I think he's in like Arizona or something like that. I think. And. He was in a like a big attorney, and then he basically dropped his job, and basically said, I'm, done. Cards. I'm done being a, an attorney. And he just went to Pokemon cards and YouTube. So, um, which if you think of like you just sold one one card, I mean, some of the cards that he's pulling. Yeah, but he's opened f over four hundred booster packs looking for that uh, rainbow. Uh, Charizard yep. that he pulled in the library. Mm -hmm. 400 packs. Yep. Uh, what's the dude the, um, that has his wife on with him all the time? Recently? Yeah, like Maddie or whatever. You're talking about... Uh, uh, I, don't know. I think... I'm not really following a lot of YouTubers. Alright, what are you guessing? Uh, fighting energy. Water. Oh, fire. fire. Screwed us all. 
<laughs> oh, Campbell's got it. She said leaf. She said fire. And then she said leaf. Oh, she changed it. She cheated. No, no pats on back. No pats on back. No pats on back. Twin energy. Did you see when they all got together in the hotel room? Mm -mm. Phallix. I saw, I think I, the latest that I saw was when they went to the, the actual grading place. The CB or nose pass. Wingle. Wingle. Coughing. Coughing. Bronzer. Toxel. Trubbish reverse hollow. Rubbish. And Bar S Q Rare non hollow. I got spoiled by Champion's Path having everything be a hollow. Then you get like, another Machop. How about the fact that my phone is crooked, but the tripod corrects for Correct. it? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I was looking at that right too because I, I see it in your screen, like how it's kind of like cockeyed a little bit, but the yeah. tripod is sitting straight on the actual camera. Well, my um, camera also sits at a weird angle up on top of the monitor. Oh. All right. All green. That can mean something. Fighting energy again. You have to do it upside down. She's going water. Uh, what, what are we in? We're in sun and moon. I'm going... Fairy energy. Upside down. Don't matter. <laughs> Recycling energy. Right. <laughs> Soul rock. Plumeria. Now she's like one of the hottest trainers ever. Oh. Semi poor. Inke. Ralts. Ralts. Crab oh, Brawler. That's a pretty cool card, though. We just had him. Sneasel. Venipede. A reverse hollow Metapede. But look at that leaf. Or Metapod. But look at that leaf in there. That's cool. That is. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, non hollow Scallopede. <laughs> It's so funny because, like, I've been watching Lee and Hart, like, constantly. And I'm sitting here watching you. And I'm waiting for, like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, oh, my <laughs> when this Leaf flings the chair backwards so hard it lands in his Pikachu collection. Yeah. <laughs> and people are asking him to, to – pray for the chair and all that. And he's on his knees opening packs because he doesn't want to go get his chair. <laughs> right. Oh, yes. All right. Three to the back. Guess your energy. Mm, I'm going to do it again. I want to say fighting energy. What's up, Ian? I'm going to say lightning energy. Oh! Right. Pat's on back. Pat's back. Pat's on back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wish I was recording when I opened that shiny Charizard. I almost sling my chair back into the Hot Toys case. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, more Pico. We're calling that a Pikachu. Oh, scoop up net. Wow. Some, up. Of the, some of the trainers that I've seen like are just the dumbest names. I just Heracross. Lopad. Okay, he's under the yeah. Pad. Okay, Clefairy, Voltorb. That's a cool looking Voltorb. Growlithe. That's a cute Growlithe. Mm -hmm. Dreepy. Dreepy. We have a Reverse Hollow Beware. I think that's hilarious. That is pretty funny looking. Oh, he's that not is, Hollow. He looks cool as crap. It does look cool. Yeah, we're keeping him. So far, our best pull of the night. Is it that full art? That full art, yeah, I think so. I mean, I'm just doing this for fun, though. Wow, we already went through four boosters. Okay, it's time for the big boy. Uh-oh. Like, we're going to go big camera. 
It's the Blastoise GX. Oh, nice. You can tell why we got it. Yeah. Lucas. But it's got packs in it. I think it's got six packs. It's got a pin that looks freaking awesome of Blastoise for my pin boards. Which I still can't see at this camera angle. My desk looks like unlisted leaves right now. I'll have to check him out. I'll have to check them out. Yeah, he's cool. And then the other dude, he'll just start showing up. He gives his wife a hundred bucks and says she can buy whatever card she wants. And he oh. begs her not to buy like cosmic clips and stuff. Don't go hunting him. He's the dude that looks under shelves. Oh, was that the guy that was on um, Million Hearts like video or whatever? And he went. Yeah. That's the same guy that found that uh, like Gen One pack, booster pack underneath the shelf at Target. Yes, that even is though he always looked for out of place card. To me, it was kind of iffy. Um, Last Toys GX, a Wardle. Floor turtle and square dog. I know they're so promo three, cards. It's the three versions of Squirtle, War Turtle, and then Blastoids. It's the so I'm happy to say we have zero crappy sets in here. Nice, Blastoise. that like is a that. cool freaking pin. Yeah, well, here's my pins pickups for the week so far. I just put them on a pin board, I haven't put them up yet. So we've got some Pokemon. That and that and that all came out of uh, Zanini pins. There's my child's. There's my four houses of Harry Potter. There's the spill the tea, my stitches, uh, Mickey, and then the friends pins. Only one I'm missing is Rachel. So we're doing okay. We'll add him right where he belongs, dead center. I can't get into pins. I just I can't. Dude, it's so easy to hang these things up on the wall, though. They take up so little space. And pens relatively aren't that expensive. All right, so we've got a good mix. And I think these are all out of Sword and Shields. Well, I don't know, because that's a GX color. <laughs> We're going to update the background. <clears throat> out of my way. Now we look legit. That's pretty, like, yeah. Ridiculously ridiculous. All right. We have a Sword and Shield base pack. We have Sword and Shield. Flash again. Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Unified Minds. Oh, Unified Minds can be a good one. And Rebel Clash. You want to save Unified Minds for last? Because yeah. that would be the last booster pack we have to open tonight. Yeah, I think so. Damn, I spent all that money and we're already out of cards. Uh, my GameStop guy calls them Cardboard Crack. Mm -hmm. so knock out that Evolutions. Evolutions is three cards, isn't it? Yes. Isn't the energy in the middle on this one? Yeah, the guy I'm talking about is the one that says energy and slings it backwards across the room. <laughs> and when he gets a flying or a bird, he lets it fly away. Uh. And his wife's name is Marie. He's got a very high pitched nasal. Is it three? Is it three or four? I think it's what one is what one was again? Uh three. Yeah, three. I may have screwed that up. Nope. Okay. Ooh, Knitter. Knitterine. Knitter Knitterone. Devolution spray. Devolution. Brock's grit. Dig Diglett. Diglett. Caterpie. Polywag. Pikachu! That's the same one from the other one. Pony. Uh. He's going in the stack. <laughs> Ooh, oh, nice. Hollow Ponita. And a regular old boy. Yeah, we did that wrong then. Yep. No, we didn't. Because that's going to be your 
No, that's not. That's a basic card. The reverse hollow should have been the last one. Oh, well, reverse hollow is a basic. You should have one behind it. That's your chance at a. Uh, at a. Um, well, check hollow. that the first pony, pony ties that. Uh, no, it's just a common. There were no other. Okay. Yeah, we did it right. There was no energies in there. Which I don't understand. Like, how do packs not have, like, I thought every pack had at least one energy. Because nobody wants more energies. All right, where do we go now? Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon. Hey, you got it. I'm going to try to do this more often, but this is not cheap. No, it's not. I'm going to probably order, I found some booster boxes of some not as popular sets that are sealed. For like, I want for like eighty eight bucks on eBay. That's thirty six packs. It's uh just exp just as expensive as comics is what it is, if not more. What is? Pokemon cards. Yes. One, two, three, to the back. All right, guess your energy. Mm. Unlisted leaf. Water. Dang, fighting energy. Oh, man. The one uh, did three three in a row. No pat on the back. No, no pat on the back. And Kyrie. Porygon 2. So one wasn't enough, obviously. Right, I didn't like the first one, so why do you have to make the second one? Metapod. Sock. Do you see that? That's it's like Blue Man Group. That's what it looks like. Porygon. Caterpie. Panpour. Ratata. Rowan Ratata. Ratatata. We got a Crabominable. Oh, that's cool. Reverse Hollow. And then our top pull is a Weevil Rare Non Hollow. Because that's an evolution. Dang. Okay, we're still going. All right, we're going to go to Rebel Clash. I'm literally having to sit on the edge of the camera. <laughs> the tripod's in the way. It's very uncomfortable. But it's, it's in between you, isn't it? You and the desk? Yes. Yeah. That one leg is pissing me off. We're going to try something real quick. Hold on. Let's do this. We're going to be a little less stable, but I don't have to lean as far forward. All right. There we go. Mm, fire energy. That's a code. Okay. You're going fire. I'm going to go Pikachu energy. Yeah. Oh, that's that's on, that's we can't that's see your camera, so we don't know if you're actually doing it or not. <laughs> Doughblade. We've had that one before. It's a cool like card though. Like I know you thought. Capacious bucket. Wow. These trainer cards. I felt like Lionheart saying that. Galarian far fetched. <laughs> Squovit. Oh. Thank you. Mr. Meme. Mine. Mine. I thought they were making that up when they made him into a pop. I did not know. Caterpie. Borrowbach. Borrowbach. Sure. Full heel reverse hollow. Oh, wow. And a greedent. Oh, my goodness. Non hollow rare. All right. Do we go base pack? Rebel Clash? Do Rebel Clash. You can get it out of the way. Don't even like. Do sword and shield last, and then, or mind blast. I was on kind of slim pickings on what I could get, because it seemed like with Champions Path coming out, people just bought what they could find. What do you do with the commons though? After a while, do you just like get rid of all the commons? Um, I mean, you can sell it as a lot. Basically, say like this is a bunch of Pokemon cards, and throw it in. Fighting energy. You can throw in. I haven't even done the three. A couple. 
I mean, a couple of rare ones in there and just. I'm going to say fairy energy. What is it? That's Star Wars energy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what we were calling it the other night. Pelipper. Bronzong. It's a nugget. <laughs> Patina. Magikarp. Metadites. Stunky. Really? Grublin. Dragpult. Reverse Hollow. That's cool. We got fire. An Arcanine non hollow. Non hollow. Rare. It's okay. What kind of, or what kind of uh, box was that that you opened? It was the this is the Blastoise GX, the big blue box, the six packs in it. It was forty okay. bucks. I got it because Lucas selected a blue card, and I don't really care if he tears that one up. Oh my god! Oh. Uh, HX four. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna say psychic energy. I'm going fairy energy. Campbell's is going leaf energy. Oh, oh Pat's on back. I'm back. <laughs> How a Rotom bike. Drizzle. B sharp. Hoody hoo. Hoody hoo. <laughs> Score bunny. Every time I see that score bunny, I'm like, they just look weird. <laughs> just... Sinisty. It's a Wooloo. Ooh, Pinchurian. Shocking needles. That's going in the Pikachu pile. And we have a Marnie. <laughs> oh, oh, that was like one of the most pull hollows in all of Champion's Path. And it, it gets me again. Mm -hmm. I'm putting that one. A good one has to be in that last pack, then. I don't know. You don't always get a good one. All right. Unified Minds. I got a Batman in. I bet you don't have. Mm, probably. Have you slowed down? If it's an older, if it's an older one, you probably do. No, it's, or it's, if it's the chase freaking uh oh we didn't call it psychic no. i got it <laughs> tranquil recycle <clears throat> thunderous slack off <laughs> slammed it boom sweet another slammed it Oh, that was a Salandit, and this is a Salandit fire? What? Hmm. Scraggy. Oh. <laughs> um, I see something back there. Mm-hmm. That is a damn trainer. Excuse me. It's a trainer. <laughs> uh, Murkrow. Reverse hollow. Viridian forest. Viridian forest. It's pretty cool looking though. It's, oh, way awesome. better, it's way better than most of the trainers that we've been seeing, obviously. You see how much it, it, it goes for. I don't know. TGC player. Oh, Unified wow. mind pack. I can look it up real quick. All right, hold on. Where's the iPad? All my Pikachus. I love it. I just wanted a binder page full of Pikachus. Oh. Uh but yeah, you probably have you probably have the chase. Uh, what is that one called? Crap. What is it? Yeah, the murder machine. You probably no, I sold it. And then, I mean, the only one that I would really be after after that's an older one is green green chrome. Let's see. I'm looking for Unified Minds. It's probably like a $10 card. That's it was cool. probably like the trainer card to pull. It 
It's too nice of a card not to be one of the main trainer ones. Mm -hmm. There are so many sets. All right, we're just going to search the card. It is Viridian Forest. Oh, tell me that's a secret card. That would be awesome. Because it's not that one. Tell me it's a secret. That would be friggin' awesome. Bro, it's a secret card. Oh, nice. Nice, baby. Hollow foil. Nice. That might be the score of the night. I'd look at those, like that full art one. Well, let's recap our pulls as a good old Ernest and Leaf do. But mine are not in any order like his, and mine aren't near as cool as his. Or in sleeves. Well, I mean, I put the good ones in sleeves. He didn't put everything in sleeves. But he also knows, like, yes, like main pulls. Like, he knows that he's like, like, well, that's like an eight dollar card, and it pops yeah. up on the screen, and it's seven. But right, you know, all right. So we got crap, 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 crap. Crab Abominables, cool. Metapod, Weevil, Scolipede, Trubbish. But we're trying to get to these in sleeves. Dragapult. I don't know about him. He's an actual hollow rare. And this was. That was cool. Yeah. Let's see. K O F F I N G. A shop local that will literally pay, uh, what is it, 40 oh, $2.45, and it's a secret. Oh. Yeah, you never know. See what? There's that four. One more was that. Buzzwold GX. Hmm. I'm going to say $7. I'll say 4 Market price, $6.78. Nice. Yup. I can take that. When you uh, sold that card. Wait, the jumbo wait. card is $6.78. Oh. <laughs> That's a promo card and I put in the sleeve. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Um, it's from Crimson Invasion. That's two dollars and twelve cents. The uh when you sold that card, did you ship it in like a FedEx envelope or a, like how did you ship it? Dude, so I did not have a hard top loader. Okay. So I took Oh, gear it is. I put it in a soft loader and in one of these soft sleeves and then put two of the um, dividers from the champion's path box on each side, wrapped it in saran wrap. And then I put, I cut up a vaulted vinyl, put two pieces on each side and then two layers of cardboard, taped all that crap down, mm -hmm. bubble wrapped the hell out of it and then double boxed it. Wow. Cause it's going to Canada. Oh, yeah. Then it's going to need it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Autocorrect is killing me. All right, let's figure out which card it is. This is the hollow rare. Holy shit, bro. No. 
No freaking way. Hollow rare evolves from magic card to center crap. dollars and sixteen cents is its market price. The Gyarados. Seventy dollars and sixteen cents. Yeah, but are you sure that the one that is on what you're looking at isn't first the first edition one? Hollow rare number six. Damn. It's not number six. That's the I think oh, that's, it's still 38 bucks. Yeah. Okay. That sounds better. That works. The I mean, first, it, it, that one that you were looking at is probably first edition. Probably. But it's still 38 bucks. The mm-hmm. other one that's first edition that's market 70, it's as low as $16. This one's 38 and is listed as low as 35. That's not bad. So we got a 35 and a $25 card, and we only spent like 200 bucks. We're going to go ahead and sleeve Viridian Forest. That's pretty darn cool. Oh, we didn't look up what our Nine Tails break is worth. I didn't see him open a single break that was worth anything on the video I watched today. I don't think that. I don't think that one's worth anything. Eight bucks. I'm gonna guess eight dollars. I'm gonna say eighty-nine cents. <clears throat> Eighty-five cents. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I was four cents off. <laughs> okay, can I get rid of this camera now? Yeah. You ain't open up any more packs. No, I got some other stuff to show y'all. Oh, got to get this thing out of my way. My back is killing me. Oh. All right, what is up, everybody? Let me put the camera back at the right angle. All right, Campbell's, look away for a second. Oh, well, we're just going to leave it like that, showing the other room. I don't care. Unless I can get it that there. Uh, close enough. All right. We've got somewhat of a better angle. And then we pop that down. There we go. Now y'all can see me. So, yeah, we've got all kinds of cool stuff going on. Let's. Uh... And then. Looky there. All right. You see, we got our sticker board started. I got to find, I've got a whole stack of stickers from other creators. I found Jerry's. What is that? Like, that's just a piece of black some... like, cardboard poster board from uh, Michael's. That's just a flat piece of poster board? Yeah. Oh. That way, if I decided to move it though or put a shelf there, I don't lose all the stickers. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, so that was fun. I got a whole bunch of Pikachu's though. I'm happy, and I got some fairly valuable cards. I'm just gonna add them to the binder. Um, I would love to know what some of my champions past stuff is worth. We might look that up on the computer and share that screen. But that Viridian Forest as a trainer card worth yeah. like twenty five bucks. That's an awesome looking card too. All right, let's go. Let's move this massive gargantuan stack of Pokemon cards out of the way. <laughs> I mean, like, dude. I mean, what do you do with all these? Just sell a, a lot of Pokemon cards? That's what I'm saying. Like, you you just sell them as a lot and you put like one or two like really good ones in there and just to get them out of your collection like, and sell it for what like 20 that, that viridian forest you can put that viridian forest in there and put another hundred of those cards that you got right there on your desk yeah and price it at 50 bucks and people will buy it and especially right now i mean so if i did champion's path and put one of the rainbows on there and put 100 could, cards with it and a couple hollows and price it at 100 bucks it'd probably go probably i would say so what if I did my lot of a thousand champions path cards plus energies? Oh. <laughs> Dude, when I say I organized them, I separated them out by energy. 
and then I literally sorted them. There were only 73 yeah. cards in the set, so it wasn't and hard to do. The way that you had them in your binder, like yes. you, you had them in numbers. See, I don't do that. I do it strictly based off of like what they are. If it's fire or water or psychic or like that's how they're separated. I'll have to go through these when I get another chance. Uh, but like that copper jaw, I know I'm not in front of a camera now, but that one looks freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm two months away from having my first two hot toys, by the way. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, at t screwed up my bill again. My wife's messaging me. Um, but they've got notes on the accounts. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they took our normal like 400 something dollar bill to a thousand and eighty bucks and twenty cents. I know what happened. Um, I'll get it fixed though. How does it jump up six hundred dollars? Because they tried to convince me to change my plan, and then somebody found out that it was horrible, and they changed me back. And more than likely, there's proration on top of proration. Oh, and it's I'll just going to take somebody with a few keystrokes to get rid of it. Yep. It was all because I changed Apple Watches because they came out with the red one. And they tried to activate it on a new phone number instead of replacing the old one. And it created this whole mess. You have your watch on the on your plan? Yeah. So it's got cell phone in it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Um not to get all off topic or crazy, but I have some stability issues. And if I fall, it'll call 911. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. My grandmother has one too. In case she gets lost, I can figure out where she is by her watch. Sure. She, and she normally remembers to put it on. You don't even need to have your phone on you to, if you, because it's on your plan, you just have your watch on and it's correct. And they link together too. So it's cool how it works. So my Walmart finally got a bunch of crap in. Um, and I have been selling the heck out of these beetle juices. Man, I haven't even been to I haven't been to Walmart or Target or is that the one with the, the carousel at the top? Is that what it was? Ted, yes. Yeah. Um I picked up so many black series lately. It's not even funny. I'm close to completing rebels. There's Canaan jars. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I've got Ezra. There's Hera. There's chopper. There's big dude. There's Mando. Uh, that's galaxy's edge. There's a Camino trooper laying down. I've got two um, of these guys. Got these on the Walgreens pre-order before it sold out. The clone trooper lieutenants. How many of those did you get? Just one? Two. My well, daughter, like, like that, that uh that blue Batman that you like sent me. Yeah. It, uh I think the only one that I'm missing out of the entire DC universe like set within the last two years is the Azrael and now I've seen it somewhere. I can't remember where I saw it. Yeah, I keep selling these. Uh, I've been doing local pickups, just going to stores and finding what I can find and um, just doing the old fashioned hunts and sold some good stuff. Found some good stuff. Uh, I got 18 graded pops that should be here tomorrow. 18? Well, 17. Dang. One of them sold. And one of them's. Uh, Campbell, so really it's 16. Here's that Batman that I think is brand new, but I might that, Does that increase, the, like, does it really increase the value if it's graded? Yes. I mean, because so, PPG's not set up on like that if it's graded or about to be. PPG folks are in talks with them about uh, setting that up. So 
uh, holographic Darth Maul went up to five grand in PPG because a graded one from VVGS sold on eBay for ten grand last wow. year. So, do you have that Batman? Yes, or without this? Is it just me, or did it didn't look like it had uh, Batman at the bottom? Is it just because the gold, like the glare, probably? Yeah. That was a while ago. Damned? Yeah, that's a while ago. I saw him. I got some. They re released or put some more of the Red Eyes Batman out. Red Eyes? What? Thomas Wayne, Batman from Flashpoint. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That one's sick. You got him? I don't have him. No. But like mm-hmm. you, you dip into older, like older Batman ones. I mean, Do you need him? Um, I got him with hot, hot cash, bro. Just send me like thirteen bucks to cover shipping. <laughs> I'll send it to you. Yeah. Uh, what else did I get? I picked up another murder machine, Batman, common, just because I still have one of the Homer Simpsons donut Homers left. Yeah, Cal- Callie sent me a murder machine Batman or Batman. That's so cool looking. Yeah, he sold very quick on eBay. I don't think I would. I don't think I would ever like buy a Simpsons pop. But if I did buy a Simpsons pop, it's going to be that one or uh, Bat Bart or whatever. Bart, what is it? I love that zombie pop. I'm not collecting. Dang. Okay. Have you not seen him out of box? I haven't seen him at all. Oh, bro. I haven't seen like that's Silver Surfer. He, like, I didn't know you're a big Silver Surfer fan. No, it's just. But if I had to pick a couple of like Marvel like characters, one is Silver Surfer. Like Fantastic Four can just eat I'm not gonna tell Batman you're cheating on. We're going to use Pikachu to open the box. Use Pikachu to open. Okay, that real, to pop that lip. How are you not at work tonight? Oh, I, I fixed that issue. You work during the day now? Yeah, early morning. Nice. Yeah, I was working third shift for seems like forever, but because you could get all the work done at night. Well, no, because I didn't have reliable people to actually go up and be there. But now you got that handle. Yeah, I got a. I thought we got a new guy. How that early in the morning do you go in? Uh, it depends. Like it's either. Five thirty six o'clock or it's six thirty seven o'clock. It just depends on who is there. That is so sick. Yeah. And he's holding the head. Oh. Yeah, he's holding his head up. <coughs> the Walmart exclusive glow in the dark magneto is really cool too, because he glows red and green on his head, like the brain. And then the new Edward Scissorhand Walmart pop that just dropped. Where he does the kirigami. That's cool. Yeah. And then the mislabeled non-Walmart exclusive non-glow zombie wolverine. How is it mislabeled? Because the the exclusive is the glow to FYE. Oh. It happened. And then I found in my Walgreens of all places I found Iron Hammer and the other two that go with the infinite hero or infinite warps line. See, I'll pass on them. Like I, they're, they look pretty cool, but it, I didn't it, go after cat. I got enough to get for other people. The only one I kept for me is the Iron Man. Yeah. Um, that's another one that I pro- you probably have. It's the Walgreens Mandalorian, like that, the something thug or whatever. I can't remember what it's the what. So Mandalorian. Yeah. And it's the like 
Tigerian thug. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm trying to like button down on Mandalorian too, and I have a, like most. Yeah, I just of sold my NYCC Mando because someone paid what it's gonna be worth, not what it's rated at now. Right. Um, I got 450 for it, I think. And it's PPGs in the high twos right now, but you know it's gonna happen on October 30th. Oh yeah. It's we kind of met in the middle of every single pop, every single Mandalorian pop has been jumped. My car Dune's gonna go through the roof. Right. An FYE car Dune. Yep. Especially since she's not on the show. And it's the I think there was, there was two. That was it. That was made. There was the FYE and the common. I have both of them. Yep. So, um, I also have speaking of people that aren't going to be on Disney shows anymore. I have a blue box Darth Maul signed by Ray Park that I sent to Beckett to get the signature authentic authenticated. And then it went to Sean to get graded. Nice. Yeah. So hey, chill out. I got this guy at Target. I got him for the t-shirt. That's the metallic Wolverine. Yeah, I keep seeing that like Target uh t-shirt bundle and I'm half tempted to get one, but where would it go? Like, I don't have any X Men pops. It just sit there on the shelf. Can you wear it to work? Uh, no. I can wear. I like all the like pop T shirts. Yeah. I wear underneath my actual work shirt. So like, because the store because I'm the store manager, I'll wear a button up. So yeah. I have to have different colored like undershirts in order to. So I wear a T shirt under it. Nice. That came out of my um, mystery box battle last week with, um, let's see, we have Jerry the Mechanic. We have Papa Pop. We have Sean from VVGS. We have Funko Pop Chick. And who should hang out with us tomorrow night and officially starts the battle next week as our sixth person is Gabs and Pops. Is that what you were talking about earlier? Like you, you do a weekly we do. battle? We do. And we pulled. So it's $32.99 a person plus shipping. Because instead of doing $10.99 a pop and expecting everybody to correctly buy just three, I right. said just a flat. They package a box. So here's how they do it. Two weeks in a row. Y'all see it's still sealed. It's unopened. So there's three of his like sorter shippers in here. So he packages up five boxes next week. It'll be six. There's his three wife, sorters in that box. Yeah. His yeah. wife, but they're not like sorter sorters. They're the heavier duty ones with the edges that stick off of them. So they can't get crumpled. Um, his wife goes and puts the labels on them. Okay. So he makes the five boxes, walks out of the room and she goes and labels them. So it's completely random. Last week, Jerry won. He accidentally pulled the top pull first, uh, which was the OG um, Mr. Incredible. That's like 43 bucks. Yeah. And, and who is this? Uh, who is what? Who you get the boxes from? Spastic Collectibles. Curtis is Spastic. Really? That's Curtis box? Yeah. That's Spastic Collectibles. Curtis is awesome. If you email the sales at Spastic Collectibles, He'll email you back typically within minutes. It's him and his wife and one other person, and they run it out of their house, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I I asked him, would he be interested in putting a curated box battle together for us each week? Because we didn't want to do inventory dumps. Well, I think, I think you could like contact him and you could probably talk to him to say, this is what we're doing. And we could up, like, if you up the ante. No, this is legit. Like I, I can, I can message him on Instagram or email him, and he'll get right back with me. But this is what we set up. So I had him set up. It's curated by Spastic Collectibles. Mm -hmm. When I say that, this box is only made for five people. So you get a common pop. You get one between twelve to twenty-five. 
and then you typically are 12 to 20 and then one in the $20 range, somebody's going to get one in the 35 to four to $50 range. But we had five chases last week out of five people. Wow. Like they weren't all crazy chases, but there's still five chases. Nothing. We had two of the remix aliens and everything else was older stuff. Cause I said, we just don't want chrono inventory dumps. Right. I, you know, I don't know. How, do mystery. That's honestly, that's why I don't do mystery boxes. I'd rather buy online and just buy what I want instead of doing a mystery box. And like, can I tell you something scary though? It gets so much easier to buy an expensive pop when you buy your first hot toy. Yeah, I got like I said, I have I have two showing up in two months. I have two more payments. I didn't like fully buy it out, but I have two more payments, and I'll have two hot toys. Like, so I pay them off as I get little extra boost of money. Because if not, um, I had five payments scheduled to come out in December. But you know me, I'm not going to do anything. Like, I thought about doing the Mando and Child. Uh, I but, did. but I was like, eh. I, like, I'll stick, I'll stick with straight Batman with if it's going Hot Toys. And it that, that will be that. And if I want to continue collecting Mando, then... I will. Well, I did the first Mando and then the Mando with Child. Um, I did two of the deluxe clone troopers. I've got Cody and Rex. Nice. Soka. I've got every, that's a remnant stormtrooper and there's Spidey in his, in his homemade suit. Yeah, I saw I saw you post the picture of that when you did the pose. It took me four times pulling him out of the box before I left him out of the box. I think I'm gonna sell Phasma. I'm just not crazy about her. But the Sith Trooper. It's pretty sick. I love the red. Gun on his hip is awesome, and the uh, first order executioner is great. Um, I didn't post pictures of my Mark 47 that came in, but I did them with the empty face and. Um, they gave him rockets boosters for his feet, but they didn't give you a flight stand. What? Yeah. They gave you a standard hook between the nuts. Wow. Yeah. But it's got the little, um, little drone that's launching two of the things to hold the ship together. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was fun. And the, the, the face on them. The, if you've never seen a hot toy in person, the face sculpt when they do it right, the portrait is amazing. Well, I can't, I can't, honestly, I can't wait because I mean, my Mando should be here any day now. Um, like any, any day now. Cause it will probably sit like right next, like on the other desk to the right, to the right of me. And we'll just sit here in front of the TV. Well, I always said I wasn't going to do Star Wars. And you yeah, can now, see why. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now you're totally invested in Star Wars and you can't get away from it. Oh, a thousand percent. Uh, let me turn that TV on. So, and I got a guy that wants to buy a couple of my graded pops. Um, and the only reason I'd sell them is he wants them graded. I can pick them up for... Let's just say I make enough money that I can turn around, go right back on Macari, buy them again, send them off to be graded, and still have enough money to buy another pop. Right. So grading really does add value. He only wants graded pops. So I think that's pretty damn cool. I think I'll I'll think I'll wait until like I actually see it somewhere where I mean I see you you've done a lot of them and you have a lot of graded pops, but he just graded one of the. Clockwork Orange, Chase, hand sign Brian Marietti Pops. Like the, the, yeah, the $25,000, 30000 at auction Pops. Yeah. He just graded one. 
like you know when they're willing to send you that that you're legit at that point. Well, I'm not. I'm not like the legitimacy of it is not my question. Is like how much does it increase the value if it's graded? Like, I mean, first, so, it's basically being graded like a comic book if it's slabbed. But Holographic Mall sold for thousands more than he normally would because it was the only graded Holographic Mall out there, and that's one known to be faked a whole lot. Right, and that's it. It's almost like a like comic book feel to me because there are, or even like not even go that far. You go to Pokemon cards. And Leon Hart like shows it all the time where there's only like one. 10 or to pristine 10 gold label or black label or whatever. And, and how much a PSA, how much a Beckett raises the value from a PSA right. and it jumps it like from like, it could be, it could be a 10 card pristine 10, not graded. And it's half the value of what it is graded. So, I also think that I have a feeling that, I mean, I'm not going to stop buying them. You're not going to stop buying them, but I think Funk was falling off. I don't think they are. Not at all. Um, seeing the lines at Hot Topic and how quickly the Funko shop's selling out and the rage on everybody around bots. And as Funko's evolving, um, some of the new lines and things they do are freaking awesome. Um, and I think they're just going to keep evolving. They've got enough money. They could buy out anything that's competition. Yeah. I mean, hey, right. Tiny Ghost, Reese O'Brien is a designer for Funko. Yeah. I mean, but you have to look at, like, look at big picture. and I don't know, big picture. You just look at YouTube in general. There are tons of big channels big funko channels that are directing to pokemon cards comic books tiny ghosts well i but as you different so funko is like the gateway drug it's so easy to get into but tiny ghosts chomps any of that stuff not as easy to get into nor is it available as much to get like i have the two chomps coming that's where the art release, I just got lucky enough that Abominable Toys posted it, notified me, and I clicked on the website and they're both still in stock. So I bought them, and two minutes later, they're both sold out. But I picked them up because Pop and Pop's gonna miss the drop. I knew he would. I make 25 bucks a piece for picking them up for him, and he knows he's got his chomp. It's it's addicting. I've got toilet ninjas up there, I've got minis of tiny ghost, I've got tiny ghost, I've got Super plastics, which I wish I'd never gotten into. But, I've got you, but like I said, if you look at everybody like as the Funko fam or the like Funko YouTube, it's, I mean, every other video now is comic books or Pokemon cards because that's the thing. So like Jetta, though, for example. Is straight hot boys. He's not, though. He's as much pop still as he's buying hot toys so he went hunting at barnes and nobles when it did its clearance he's talking about con and waiting to pick up the three pack of dragons which he got at a good deal yeah um, he just displays his hot toys in the room he films in but he's also collecting what he likes he's not just doing right. mass like quantities of funko it's uh, correct it, it's truly collect what you and i mean i think my setup's a good representation of that yeah you have a plethora of all all things star wars <laughs> the most part i mean i have tony and james right there and i have mike sully boo and george sanderson and visible i have some signatures behind those lightsabers which you haven't seen these i have Five, I think I Galaxy's did. Edge lightsabers. Yeah, I think I saw a video where you like had a couple of them. So without the blade, they don't work. But it, it's really cool 
like because I know how because I watched way whack when I watched John Ryan put his together, like on his little video or whatever. They actually make you put the crystal. So that is so that's something different. That is at uh, Saban's workshop or Savvy's workshop, and you are assembling a lightsaber. These yeah. are sold in the Trader's Outpost at Galaxy's Edge, and these are replicas of the actual sabers that the characters carry. Oh, okay. So this is Mace Windu's. Right. Um, the ones you get there, the blades don't really come out. These, the blades come out, caps go in. Why is my phone lighting up? Oh, my wife wants to know what code I just got. I don't have any freaking idea. Really? Like 75 question marks. I can't even look because it keeps going off. But like Luke's, so to keep it movie accurate, you can't fit a blade in that. But they give you the attachment, the replacement piece. Mm -hmm. And I'm using the same blade that I just lit up purple. Because well, yeah, it's, I'm pretty, because I'm pretty sure there's the light in there. I, I'm, Pretty sure it's the same thing that we're, we're talking about. The same thing that the mm -hmm. so there's no crystals in these, so that's uh, well, it's not real crystal either. It's like it's, a plastic. Yeah. It, it's actually uh, the same NFC kind of readers as like I have in my government access card. It's just an NFC chip. Okay, but these are the separate thing. That is where you build off power or um, elementals. Um, and you literally assemble the pieces. These are not them. These are the props. So these are called the Legacy Series. They come in the gray cases. Mm -hmm. The other ones, once you put the blade in, it doesn't come out. But these are made to be able to display. And you see you get that other color flash. Mm-hmm. And they work really well. But then when you want to actually display them, unlike the Black Series Sabres that I have that are just kind of leaned up in the corner that I'm going to end up selling because I have nothing I can do with them, you take the blade off and you put it back on a stand that you have to buy separately. And it's a beautiful display piece, but it's not, you know, six feet long, five feet long. Right. It's just the actual, like hill or the so you can get like mall saber for example if you got both pieces of it i don't know if they did malls in black series they did the fx series and you get the attachment piece you can put the two hilts together and this one you could literally make mall saber with the two pieces attached but it's you know 18 inches two foot long instead of being eight feet long because right. when I put both edges of a saber together, when I used to face this way, it hit both edges of the wall. It was eight feet long. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I mean, so there's just, there's nothing you can do with them. You can see up there that I've got all that space up there taken up by two sabers. Mm -hmm. And then I get my, um, my saber in that was Darth Revan's, which was very expensive. Like 250 bucks for Darth Revan's Black Series Elite, and you click it on once and the button stops working. I mean, that wasn't what I signed up for. So, I love these things. I've got Mace Windu's Black Series Saber right down there, but I'll end up selling it because I have no easy way to display it. But. I mean, I kind of said I'm going Star Wars, and I got in right before it got stupid. I was in like when if you don't take your riddle in, you're going to have a bad day at school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not you know, take your riddle in and you still get sent to the principal's office for jumping off the furniture. Um, like everything's just going up in value. But like I went after the expensive ones that I wanted, like Leia when she rescues Han. Mm -hmm. The masked version of this is a seven dollar pop. This one's like five something. 
That's the um, Return of the Jedi one? Yes. Yeah. And then um, Tony here. I said he was a grail that I would one day have. And then um, I was just lucky enough that money was in the right place at the right time. I bought him and James Rhodes for seven on eBay. And then I had him graded. And I have an offer of 800 bucks for him. Just Tony. Wow. And well, yeah, because he's not like Robert Downey Jr. is not coming back. He's well, no, his PPG is still sitting at like 520, 530. But that's what I'm saying. He's just going to increase in value. It's just going to be like Heath Ledger, like Bank Robber, Joker, whatever. It's so, but I'm not, a, so I'm not a sticker whore. I do like to have different stickers, but I don't have to have multiples of the same. Um, they've got the Toy Con version of him that's 440. That I have the ability that's in really good shape to pick up off Macari. Mm-hmm. And realistically, I could replace James Rhodes and Tony Stark for what I paid for Tony Stark or for what I made off Tony Stark. But with the deal he's wanting to set up, more than likely he would get Mike and Boo also because I would sell enough to him and Rex because I would end up replacing Rex with a con version of Rex and then I would send it to get graded. I'd replace Boo with a Disney Store logo version of Boo, and I'd replace Mike with the 480 piece glow mic. But the but yours are graded and his ain't. Correct. Yeah. So it's. I mean, granted, <laughs> granted, if you have the ability to get them graded at a cheaper price than he would, then it might work out in your favor. But in the same sense, it's really not even. I mean, once you have an arc which is the box. I have an extra one. This is to send y'all's pops in. Once you have an arc, it's 150 bucks to send in two pops. That covers the UPS label that comes in the box return label to get it to him and shipping back to you. And it comes in here. There's two pieces of foam in there. And then, uh, and then basically that's the box that it's shipped in. And then it comes back. And every time they send it back in a brand new box, We'll bubble wrap on it. Sean has it absolutely set up right. Um, and he'll talk a little bit about how the grading works and why, like my Queen Amidala, who has that crunch down the side of her spine, why she can still be an eight. And it's because you can only lose. It's not like a card or a comic book that's two-dimensional. It's a three-dimensional box. So you have all the sides. At most, you can lose, you know, maybe a point or so. I don't know how it actually works, but for a completely damaged side. Yeah, said, but with, com with a comic book, it's more detailed. It, correct. I mean, it's the bridge of the book. It's the color, the colors of the actual, like, pages. It depends on what color page, like, color pages is printed on. It's, I mean, there's a lot more intricacies within a comic book, in my opinion, that... There, I mean, you're saying it's three dimensional. I get, or I get that, but well, no, that's why I'm saying it's easier to get higher grades when you've got visible damage. Oh, oh okay. because there's so much more to grade, so much more surface area. Yeah, so you've got like the claw marks from where the machines grab the old boxes that most of us don't pick up unless you shine the light right. Mm -hmm. um, you've got residue left on windows or the micro scratches. Any of that stuff like that counts against it, but one area can only count against it so much. So I asked him, do you have a representation of what a one would be? Cause he was talking about that average scale. He said, yeah, he let Chris Sabat absolutely just demolish a pop. And the reason it's a one is cause you could tell by scraps what the box was. And there was a physical box there and you could tell what the pop was. Well, it's the same with the comic book. I mean, so, but, Your comic book you like cut in half, and if you have the top portion of that comic book, let's say, I mean, Amazing Fantasy number fifteen, which is a ten thousand, twenty thousand dollar comic book. I mean, you could have the whole bottom of it cut off, and it's still going to be a a one or a point five. So I mean, it just because you've got to have a scale. Um, you've got to have a bottom number. And I asked him when he was here tomorrow, if he'd talk about it some about how that can be, because people question it. 
And he said, when you look at it, you got to look at the fact that you've got a front, you've got a window, you've got a side window, you've got the box around the window, you've got the top, you've got the bottom, you've got the back, you've got the painting on the pop, you have the plastic housing inside of it. It's all part of the grading. Paint is a hard thing. So George Sanderson, for example, has a really good box. And I bet, I haven't scanned his QR code yet, but he got an eight. I can guarantee you it's because of the yellow and orange paint on the inside. What's up, Eric? Hey, do you have a signed over 9,000 Majin Vegeta, Batman? <laughs> no, I do not. I know you need one, and I have one that's fairly inexpensive. I don't know if I want it signed. It's signed by Chris Sabat, and it was his exclusive. Yeah, but I'd rather I'd rather save my money for a Majin Vegeta than get a sign over nine thousand. It is a Majin Vegeta, bro. It's Chris Sabat's favorite form of Vegeta. It's the Majin Vegeta over nine thousand exclusive. Oh, okay. Um, he had this pop commissioned by Funko, and he signed a bunch of them. Yeah, That's we. The Majin Vegeta. We, we can talk. Yeah, like, okay, so let's see. Uh, standard blue label 8.0, very good. Front panel, there's scratches and smudges. Right panel, scratches and spots. Back panel, scratches, crunches, and spots. Left panel, scratches, machine bite, dents. Top panel, scratches, spots. Bottom panel, scratches and smudges. And the figure has paint issues. But you right. get a picture of your actual pop. And then the explanation of what it has. So that's an 8.0. I had a 9.6 uh, Freddy Funko as Kylo Ren, which the male owns somewhere right now, little bastards. But uh -huh. it has a QR code on the back, so you just go into your camera and you scan a QR code. It'll find it, ask you to open it in Chrome. That takes you to your personal link. Now that's a 9.2. Once you get above 9, they go by point twos. So... On the front panel, there's scratches and smudges. On the right panel, there is scratches. On the back panel, there's scratches and smudges. On the left panel, there's just some smudges, and that's paint smudges. On the top panel, there is smudges. The bottom panel is clean. Well, I guess that's why, I mean, I, now that bringing this into all of it, is it's being closer to Pokemon cards, like in Pokemon card grading. Is the centering right? Right, centering and coloring and like so is and what's a one on centering? Uh, if it's, I mean, math. I think it's it half the inch card showing up. Yeah, I think it's like half the inch on the back of the card. That's and it's, crazy. I don't know. I haven't really fully figured it out because I watch Lean Heart and. I'm like, he's like, oh yeah, the centering's a little off here. Like, um, and I and I even pause it, and I'm like, okay. Oh no, I can easily see where centering's off on some cards. Yeah, I mean, that's just making like the. This one, I mean, if you look at this, even in this horrible lighting, you can see that my. Thumb off. I know the centering's off from like right to left. Yeah, and a little bit from top to bottom. The bottom's thinner than the top. I didn't see the I didn't see the top as much that I, I saw the back right of the card. Uh, the back of the card uh, left to right, but other than that, it's pretty good. But we got a little bit of crease on the corner and a little bit of paint smudge. <clears throat> this wouldn't be a card worth grading, right? A lot of people don't want graded cards. They just want the card to have it. Correct. So when you do get your stuff from BBGS, you get this nice envelope too. That has, um, these are one of the older ones. Let's see what this one is. All right, so Grievous. The logo's on the back. He does a hand-stamped wax seal. Wow. At the date of the grading. Now, Sean doesn't do the grading when he knows you. He said, really, I don't do much of the grading anymore. I do most of the casing. His dad does the website. His mom does the grading. He does all the encasing. Um, but like he doesn't grade any of my pops. Now he verifies every single grade that's given. And if he doesn't agree with it, something changes. But like on these, he used the platinum labels and put 
Sully and Mike Wazowski on the front of them, which is something different. He hadn't been doing that before. But like this one's the certificate for James Rhodes. So I keep all my certificates. And I love that he did it in red, white, and blue. I don't know if that was on purpose. Mm. And he and they couldn't put that on like the back of the pop, like before they encase it. Put what? Like you know how on like with comic books you put it in the sleeve before you like get it slabbed. You put what in the sleeve? The certification. So Oh, for Iron Man, he did the uh, red and gold. So for certification, all you need with theirs is the QR code on the back. They just give you a COA to have. The reason you don't want it encased in here is then you can't see the back of your pop. This is a four-sided. This is not a molded. This is a hand-folded or machine folded, I don't know, but this is a folded acrylic case that's acrylic on all sides that's sealed on the bottom where if you try to get into it, they're going to know. Mm -hmm. There's no really easy way to do it, and then you've got a sleeve that slides up that keeps the pop-up. You've got VVGS and your QR code that links directly to the pop, and then you've got, and this is all his custom labels too, so the holographic labels, they print on every one. I mean, it's a pretty high high speed operation. They don't play around, but it, they they lay upside down overnight to dry. But I mean, dude's had some crazy stuff in. I want to say he's had one of the glow in the dark blueberries, the like twenty four piece. Wow. Yeah. Um, this should that's Patrick oh. Bateman. Oh, that's not my. Jay, on that note, I got to get out of here. Bedtime? Uh, past bedtime, yeah. Yeah, I, I need to be going soon anyways. Um, uh, I did not okay. intend to do a two-hour no. live. <laughs> Pleasure as always. Thanks for allowing yeah. me to come on and um, open up some more Pokemon cards, please. Maybe one day we'll be able to see your face again. One day. Hey, if you see any good deals on booth, I might go order a booster pack on eBay just to freaking do it. But eBay oh. is so much more terrible now. Okay, hold on. You you got to answer this one question for me. Where's the one I found? Uh, Rebel Clash, yes or no? No. Darkness Ablaze? Darkness Ablaze, yes. Ultra Prism? No. Uh, let's see. Uh, recent price. Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield, yes. Moon and... Uh, Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon, yes. Evolutions. Uh, it's got a couple. Not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Darkness Ablaze. You said that already, didn't you? You said yes to that one, right? Yeah. Wow. They're wanting a lot of money for that. Mm -hmm. They're making Champion's Path booster boxes, but you know they've weighed them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know they've weighed them. <laughs> yeah. There's some of there's some of them, I guarantee. Eric, you should have just sent me a DM, bro. I have five iron hammers. Mm. All right, I'll catch you later. Later, dude. All right, guys. So I tell you three things every time. Do something day to make tomorrow better. Help somebody in need. Never take anything for granted. Don't forget tomorrow night at our normal time, we will have Jerry the mechanic, Papa Pop. Funko Pop Chick, myself, Sean should be on camera in shop with me. And Gabs and Pop should be hanging out with us next week. She joins the battle to be the sixth. All on this channel for the second edition of the weekly Royal Rumble Battle Box sponsored by or curated by uh, Spastic. Y'all know what I'm saying. We're going to have some fun, maybe do a giveaway, maybe play some games. You know, Christina loves some games. Um, we will eventually have six on the screen. That's that's the goal and no more. I don't want 10. 
but we're going to have a fun battle that's curated. That's only ours. And the only thing we ask of people is you commit to at least a month right now, everybody that's on board is uh, on board for the long haul and hasn't said anything else. Jerry is excited because me and Jerry kept sending each other boxes and saying, yeah, I'll do that one. No, can't do that one. Uh, I don't see anything in that one. I want this one right here. I said, Hey dude, you want to get our own box created by spastic? He said, yep, I'm in. That's all it took. So guys, I will see y'all tomorrow night. I can't wait. We're going to have a blast. And then Saturday nights with Jarhead should happen. There's still a lot of protests and fires and everything going on, but we will try to make that work. And then we'll go from there. Y'all be blessed. We will see you on the next one. This is your boy, Pop Life Toys.